Jane and I started cause and effect in 2004, quite instantly, I guess. And so quickly, one project became two, two became four, we hired staff, we outgrew our dining room, we got an office and all of a sudden we were a company people were talking about. Over the last five years, we've really clarified our services as a company, and at the same time, we've expanded our offer. We've become a consulting and design studio committed to the creation of experiences that have meaning and influence. The diversity found within our studio really gives us the ability to work across an unlimited variety of mediums. This includes print, video, web, and architecture. In any given day, I could be working on the design of a website, shooting photos, selecting paper stocks for a new book. Being able to work in this kind of variety is very unique for a designer. In the end, for me, producing richer and more challenging work. At Cause and Effect, we look to create culture, whether that be in corporate boardrooms, retail stores, museums, or public events. Our clients range in size and purpose, but they all share the common interest of wanting to enrich their own internal culture and then improve the way people engage with it. I'm an architect. That doesn't mean that I only want to design buildings. As well, it doesn't mean that designing buildings is all I'm good at. I think that if my architecture background has taught me anything, it's understanding how to create rich experiences between people and their environments, whether that be buildings or brochures. At Cause and Effect, we put a lot of weight in our ideas, but in many ways, these ideas are the easy part. It's our belief that the success of a design not be measured solely on its aesthetic, but by the reaction of the people experiencing it. Cause and Effect is in the middle of a lot of projects that straddle the space between brand, design, development, and civics. We chose to live in Vancouver, and for this reason, the city has for us become a project in itself. The best phone call I ever received was from a woman who said, I'm not exactly sure what you guys do, and I'm really not sure what I need, but I know we need to talk. We need more phone calls like that. <laughs>